I found out my junior year of high school that my mom had ovarian cancer. I found out over spring break of my sophomore year. It was sometime in high school. And it was just hard because I found out right before coming back to school and I was at school for, I feel like, kind of a key few months. My mom's like my best friend. Um, we're super, super close, so it was really tough on me. She has always been very spiritually strong. That's one of the biggest reasons why she's one of my biggest role models. She's always talks about how there are people out there that have it worse, that have, you know, stage two, three, four cancer and like other just terrible things. And she just always kept a really, really positive mindset, which is super inspiring. She's completely cured. So she just got her port taken out a couple months ago. So we actually all got this tattoo because <laughs> this is where her port was, obviously, that like administered the medicine to make her better. I was thinking, you know, it sucks for me to see her come home tired from chemo. But I was thinking if she's going through all of this and then also still want to be there for us, um, I can do the same thing. My mom surprised me the other weekend and I could hear her in the stands and I was like, that's not my mom. And then I looked up and I saw her and it just made me so happy. I love seeing her and giving her hugs. And even if she's just here for one night or not even a night, it just makes my week so much better. I love you so much, mom. Thank you so much for your support and being such a strong woman and pushing through chemo so I could have you th for the rest of my life. <laughs> Thank you, mom. I love you so much. Um, you are my support and I love you. <laughs> I love you, mom. Thank you so much for everything.